Welcome to PT Time with Tim. I'm Dr. Tim, a licensed physical therapist. Today we're going to be talking about the best knee strengthening exercises for patellofemoral pain syndrome, which basically means kind of a generalized anterior knee pain. But first, here's my medical disclaimer. So patellofemoral pain is usually caused by an overuse syndrome. So you're either doing too much, too soon, too fast. The knee joint is just not uh, capable of tolerating the stresses that you're putting upon it. So the pain is coming from underneath the kneecap or around the kneecap. And people really have a hard time identifying where the knee pain is coming from. That's why it's that diffuse kind of pain that goes around the kneecap. So the biggest muscle groups that you need to strengthen for this are the quadriceps, the hip muscles and the calf muscles. So those kind of three areas. And we also wanna make sure that we stretch all the muscles that cross that knee joint to make sure everything's as flexible as possible. Our first flexibility exercise is gonna use a foam roller. So I'm a big advocate of using foam rollers. And this is gonna be for the IT band or the iliotibial band. The IT band runs from your hip down the outside of your leg, past your knee and inserts down here on the tibia. And so this, this uh, structure here gets really stiff with repetitive movements and stair, like stair climbing or kneeling or walking for long distances up and down hills, that kind of stuff. So the IT band can get a lot of uh, trigger points in it and we wanna address those using a foam roller. I've set myself up here lying on my side on the foam roller. I'm starting below my hip bone. That's really important. Do not roll over the hip bone. So I've started below the hip bone. I'm gonna roll on the outside of my thigh towards my knee. My foot is pointed straight forward and I'm using both of my hands and my foot to kind of offset my weight. And so every time that you kind of roll over what I like to call speed bumps with these little areas of stiffness in the IT band, they're these they're painful trigger points is basically what they are. So you're using this foam roller to massage those, those speed bumps out and so every time you hit a speed bump, spend 30 seconds or so just kind of slowly rolling back and forth over it. You're trying to relax the muscles because we're trying to reduce that, uh, the stiffness in it. So do your best. I know it hurts in the beginning, but it's really important. And so you're going to roll all the way down, stopping just before the knee. And so spend about three to five minutes rolling back and forth on that to loosen up the IT band. Our next stretch is the Thomas stretch, and the Thomas stretch is gonna target the hip flexors and the quads. Sitting at the edge of your table or at the edge of your couch, wherever you can reach the floor is gonna be best. So you're going to start with uh, kind of angled off the edge with the down leg being the stretch leg. We're gonna be stretching the hip flexors and the quads, which are in the front of part of the thigh. So position one, you can just lie back, putting your toes against the floor so that your hip is, in, is extended here, your leg is straight in line with the body. And if you feel a moderate stretch or, or an, in, uh, a severe stretch, you can just stay right here. So this is position one. If you do not feel a stretch yet, then you can grab the opposite knee and pull it up, which tilts that side of the pelvis back, increasing the stretch feeling on that down leg. So for the Thomas stretch, you're gonna hold it for one minute and do two repetitions. Our final flexibility stretch is a supine hamstring stretch. So I'm lying here on the floor, so you can lie on the corner uh, of a wall or you can lie in a doorway, but you're gonna prop one heel up on the wall, then you're gonna scooch closer to the wall, keeping your knee straight until you feel a good hamstring stretch, which is on the back side of the thigh or the back side of the knee. The nice thing about this stretch is it's a really passive stretch. You just get to lay there and enjoy that nice stretch. We're gonna hold it for one minute and we're gonna do two repetitions on each leg. Next, we're gonna start strengthening exercises. So remember the biggest muscle groups we need to target are the quadriceps, the glute complex, and the calf muscles, all those muscles that support the knee joint. So for our first exercise, we're gonna need a power band or a pull-up assist band. And if you click the link above that I place, it'll take you over to the pttimewithtim.com blog post that has all the information where you can find these. The prone knee extension exercise with uh, band resistance, you're gonna lie on your belly like I am here. You're gonna take that big loop, put it around your ankle, and then bring it over your shoulders, kind of hook it over your shoulders. Now, the biggest thing with this one is that as you kick out, you wanna be able to find a position where you do not have any knee pain. So you just have to find, like, how far out can I go without having knee pain because I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. So this is an isometric hold, 30 seconds in duration, making sure that you're in a pain-free spot. 
And then we're gonna do that for four repetitions, 30 seconds each. The sumo squat exercise is our next exercise targeting the quads and the glutes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart, your toes pointing outward, you're gonna grab a weight that's reasonably heavy to you. So I have a 25 pound weight here. You can grab a, a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hang it just down by your side. So just letting kind of gravity hold it down there. You're gonna sit your hips back. So this is really important. You wanna get that nice hip hinge, okay? So I'm sitting my, my um, hips backwards. My knees are staying over kind of my toes area. And I'm only going as deep as I can before I have any knee pain, okay? And on my way up, I'm squeezing my glutes. So sitting my hips back, squeezing my glutes on the way up. So this is your sumo squat. We're gonna do three sets of 10. Seated knee extension with a band resistance is our next exercise. So I have one of those loop bands. I hope you can see that. I put it around the leg of uh, the bench here. You can just sit in a dining room chair. That's what I tell a lot of people. You can either put that around the front leg or the back leg of the chair, depending on how much resistance you need. But the goal here is to target the quadricep muscles in your thigh. You're gonna kick forward, and ideally you keep about 80 degrees of knee bend. And again, you gotta find a position that you do not have knee pain in. So if I had knee pain here, I'm gonna back off just a little bit to find, hopefully I'm um, pain free at this position. If, I'm, if I have pain here, I'm gonna extend further out and try to really find that pain free position. You're gonna hold it for 30 seconds and you're gonna do four to five repetitions. Our final exercise is the wall sit. So this is an isometric exercise. If you consider yourself advanced, you're gonna lift your heels up on the wall, have both hands down to your sides, and then you're gonna sit down into a, into a wall sit position. So again, just like all the other ones, you gotta make sure that you do not feel knee pain in this position. If you do feel knee pain, then come up a little bit higher, that's okay. We gotta figure out like where you're starting at. But basically this is a quadriceps isometric exercise. So you're gonna feel that quad burn building up. You're gonna hold this for 30 seconds and do about four repetitions of it. Now, if you, can, if you don't consider yourself advanced, you can do the same exercise if you put your feet out in front and then sit down like this. So my knees are over my feet. They are not going in front of my toes. So if they're going in front of your toes, that means your feet are too close and that you need to kick your feet out a little bit more. But again, 30 second hold, four repetitions. It's really important to remember that with this strengthening and stretching program, that we're only doing it in a pain-free range of motion. Then as the tolerance of the knee improves, you can increase the range of motion, you can increase the weights, the resistance, or the repetitions as the, the leg gets stronger and the knee symptoms improve. So go check out my other videos as you continue on your pathway to living a pain-free, active, and adventurous lifestyle. Thanks for stopping by PT Time with Tim, where we restore to explore. Oh, come on, that's sick. It's sick.